Scripture represents the church as the bride of Christ, preparing herself for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Does this feel like the focus of your church? You won't find the perfect church, but what should a local congregation faithful to the Word of God look like? Well, here's an email that provides a glimpse into the challenges that some are facing. It reads, The longer my wife and I stay in our church, the less it emphasizes evangelism, Christian education, and discipleship. Now we are unsuccessful church shoppers. Why does the church seem to be sliding down this slope? Should we continue our search for a better church or stay and put up a fight? Well, I recognize this is a very difficult situation and one that many, many people are facing today, probably more than ever before that I could remember. And the primary reason is the place of the Word of God in that church. Does the pastor believe the Scripture from Genesis to Revelation or only part of it? Is he being true to the Word of God in the presentation of the gospel, or little by little are they sliding into a theology of liberalism, tolerating things in the church, tolerating beliefs that absolutely are not true to the Word of God? Eventually, liberalism will kill a church. If there's no emphasis on evangelism, which is what he called us to do, and discipleship is of what we're supposed to be doing to those who are saved, and educating those who become Christians. If there's none of that, you no longer have a New Testament church. You have a club atmosphere. People are meeting to enjoy each other and just relaxing. There's no emphasis on the Holy Spirit. If there was an emphasis on the Holy Spirit, there would be a truth to the Word of God that's proclaimed from the pulpit. People would feel the impact of that. How many people in your church feel as you do? And I would ask you this question. Have you talked with the pastor and explained to him what you believe, what you feel is going on, and let him respond to that? His response may give you an answer. He may say to you, well, if you don't like it, you can leave. Or he may say, well, maybe we just don't agree theologically. As a pastor of the church, one of two things is going to happen. Because I've been a pastor for 52 years. I've been in some fights, and they're never delightful. And what happens is you have to make a choice. Each time the church begins to be more liberal, and there are more people who have liberal ideas, the more the tension and the stress Either the pastor takes a strong stand for the Word of God, and if he does, you stand and fight if that's what he believes you ought to do. If not, and he decides to be liberal and just move on in that kind of an atmosphere, you may find yourself in a very painful and divisive situation. And sometimes to save the church, there must be a fight. And sometimes to leave the church is the only thing you can do. But before you leave it, you make it a prayerful decision in your life to be sure that you've heard from God who says, move on. I understand, for example, that you want to be taught you don't want to sit in a church, and you do not want to be in a church where your children are hearing error from the Word of God or hearing a pastor say only part of it is true. And therefore, you're not going to be happy listening to that if you've been saved by the grace of God and you want to grow in your Christian life. You need to be fed, and you need to be fed on the Word of God. You need to be growing. The church needs to be growing, and people being baptized, they're being saved. There needs to be a mission spirit, and you need to have a place in that church where you can serve the Lord enthusiastically. If you cannot, and it's not going to change, then I would simply say you have a tremendous decision to make. Either stay and fight with your pastor for those who believe the Word of God, or if he doesn't believe the Word of God from cover to cover, and the people don't want that, you find the church that meets your spiritual need, and God will honor that decision. Well, thank you for joining us on this broadcast of In Touch, and remember, obey God, leave all the consequences to Him. It's the only way to experience life at its very best.